So, we're back for another VGC guide, and this time we are looking at Iron Bundle. I don't like this Pokemon. I mean, I like this Pokemon. I don't like the fact that it is so good, and yet has to run Hydro Pump. Like, it objectively should run Hydro Pump. The Water Types, at least the special Water Types, got a little bit screwed over in the fact that Scald is gone. If this had Scald, wow, okay, fine. But, yeah, Hydro Pump has to be run. Like, it really should be run. Chilling Water is the best alternative. And, like, yeah, that's support, but it's not damage. Hydro Pump is significant damage. It, it should run Hydro Pump. But it's 80% accuracy. I don't trust it. I'm going to resist using Iron Bundle. Like, it's it's brilliant. It's a brilliant Pokemon. But I, I really don't want to have to use it. If my team dictates that it should be Iron Bundle, then fine. But I will resist. So, yeah. It's it's really good. Really good. It's it, like it's, The speed is great. It outspeeds uh, Fluttermanes by one. That's the big thing. If it undersped Fluttermanes, it would drop significantly in usage. But the fact that it is faster than pretty much everything, except for Dragapult that's relevant, then that is significant. Obviously, like this is a weird set and, a, and all that. Like, obviously, that you can run the Hyper Sash. You can run the Life Orb. Those are the obvious ones. I'm trying to give you something that's not so obvious. So, yeah, this is still going to do exactly the same thing as the Sash version would do. But say your Sash is not free and your booster energy is. This will still give you a speed boost. It'll put you faster than the Sash version, so you'll get a one-up on them so that you can get the Icy Wind Spam, but then you're still bulky enough that you can actually take some hits. I say some hits. Like, you can survive, like, that investment into defense is, it survives a flower trick from Yasgrada. You'll survive some things on the special side. It, like, it, it's fine on the special side with that much investment. Like, that's dump after getting a speed boost while still just being, uh, being modest. So, um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be, it's going to be fine. The bulk is fine. And it's good enough that it will be able to meet you. Like, the, the big thing is that it outspeeds the Sash versions. So that then you'll be able to get the Icy Winds before then. Freeze Dry is a must. Like, you want to be able to hit the water types that you won't be able to hit otherwise. And also, it's going to be able to do good things against things like Dondozo. Because you'll hit Dondozo super effectively in most of its versions of t types that it wants to be. Like, Dragon, Grass, fi uh, Flying, all are hit by Freeze Dry, as well as the water. So you want Freeze Dry. You have to run Hydro Pump. Don't run Chilling Water instead of Hydro Pump. You must run Hydro Pump. Don't be a coward if you're using this Pokemon. I'm a coward, so I'm not going to use this Pokemon <laughs> if I can. But yeah, Icy Wind, obvious one. Like, you want to spam Icy Wind from the fastest Pokemon, well, one of the fastest Pokemon. Encore or Protect. That's the choice. Encore is brilliant on a Pokemon this fast. Protect is obviously a good move. Especially because I'm Mundle will like to be faked out and double into on the first turn so that it can't spam Icy Wind. So, yeah, Encore is, is great. Do you justify over protect? That's going to be a big thing uh, building with iron bundles. Yes, you can run protect for sure and have those other three moves and you're sorted. And like I said, you can just be the focus sash and just run max speed, max special attack, and then you'll hit even harder. Life orb will hit even harder than that. So yeah, it's it's annoyingly good. The fact that it's so fast and outspeeds Fluttermane, annoying because hydro pump is necessary. Also, it can make use of the assault vest. Now, that special defense investment is not too bad, but the assault vest will take some special hits for sure. Uh, you, because you don't have booster energy, you still need max speed. Like, the point of Iron Bundle is it's so fast to be able to spam those Ice Winds. Even with Assault Vest, you shouldn't drop your speed at all. It needs to be max speed. Therefore, it's not going to be doing too much damage, uh, but you're still going to be able to have some survivability with the Assault Vest. So this is another alternative. I would recommend the Water Terror on the Assault Vest one. I would recommend Ice on the others. Because you don't particularly care about your defensive typing, especially if you're Focus Sash or whatever. And Freeze Dry is more important to get the damage boost on than Hydro Pump, in my opinion. Like, Water is fine. I don't trust Hydro Pump. And one of the big things that Iron Bundle wants to do is Freeze Dry things. So, getting the boost on the Freeze Dry, in my opinion, probably more significant. But, yeah. It's annoying that this Pokemon it is, like, it's what it's one of the best Pokemon that we have available. But you have to run Hydro Pump, and that's so annoying. 